I saw this pizza in a magazine recently. They were showing favorite toppings, red or white, and this side has 58%, this is 42 So they're creating a pie chart, a pizza pie chart, but it's not 50-50, which is what the toppings look like. It's really 58-42. So I decided that we could make something better in Excel. So to start, I went on the worksheet and just typed white 42, red 58, which are the numbers in their pie chart. And to create a pie chart, I selected one of those cells. And on the Insert tab, if you're using Excel 2013, there are recommended charts. Otherwise, you can select a chart type on your own. So I click that. And because there are only a couple of numbers, it's suggesting a pie chart would be a good way to do it. And that's what I want. And I'll just press Enter to confirm that. And now we have a chart that's quite wide. I'm going to make it a little narrower more of a square, and it's showing the slices in the correct size, so that's what the other chart should have been doing. But it's telling me that this blue side is white and the orange side is red, so we're going to have to clear that up so it's not confusing. And we'll put a title on as well, and I would like big numbers in the middle of the chart. So the first thing I'll do is change the chart title so we know what we're looking at. Instead of just saying chart title, I'm going to type favorite pizza type. So I just click on the title and then drag over the text that's there and type my new text. And I'll click away from that. For these slices, I would like to have a big number on them, so I'd like a data label. So at the side of the chart, I can see a plus sign. I'll click that and I'll put a check mark here for data label. Or I could go to the arrow and pick something specific. I'll put them in the center. So you can see that it adds these data labels, but they're very small. So I'm going to click on one of them and that selects both of them. And then on the home tab, I can select a bigger font and make it bold. So those numbers really stand out. We're not going to need this legend at the bottom because we're going to show the pizza type in the slice. So I'm going to click on the legend and then just press the delete key on the keyboard to get rid of that. And the pie chart gets a little bit bigger because there's more room in the chart area now. And the next thing I want to do is, instead of having orange and blue here, I want to show a red topping here and a white topping on the other side. And if I go back to the original chart, I used Snagit, which is by TechSmith, and it's a screen capture tool. And I created a little square file that has white topping and another square file that has red topping, save those as JPEG files, and I'm going to use those on my chart. And to do that, I'm going to select the pie. And right now the whole pie is selected, and I want to put a colored background on the red side. So I'm going to click again to select just the red side, then right click and format data point. So in this window, I want to go to the paint bucket, which is the fill and border and I'm going to put in a picture. Now, because I've used this picture before, that's the one that it pops up. But if you're doing this for the first time, it's not going to automatically put one in for you. You're going to click this File button, and then go and find the picture that you created for the red topping, and insert that. So if you click File, that opens up the Insert Picture window. Just find your file. Once you've found it, mine is Pizza Pie Chart 3, and click Insert. So that fills that in. And to do the white side, I'll click to select it. And now this window is showing the properties for the white side. So again, on the paint bucket, we'll put in a picture. And it automatically uses that last picture that I inserted when I want the white one. So I'll click File. I'll find the white picture, which is number 4. Click Insert, and now we have the white topping on this side. The final thing I'll do here is put a border around the pie. So I'm going to click away from the slice and then go back and click the pie. And again on this bucket, I'm going down to Borders, and I'll put a solid line. I can pick a color, so I'll pick black. When I click away, we can see our pizza pie chart now correctly shows the percentages. So we've got 58% here, 42% here. Instead of the original, which was split down the middle, 
and conflicted with the numbers that were shown at the top of the pie chart. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.